Have you ever been extraordinarily happy that a month was over? Just the turning of time and the starting of a new month can be so refreshing. Welcome to Daily Whispers. I am Kara Bradley, bringing you my real time, no holding back, raw, real experience of life as it emerges, as it unfolds. And I couldn't be happier that it's June because May was a really, really tough month for me. I will tell you, my friend, I have been just living on fumes. I have been battling some demons and been hitting some walls and edges that I haven't yet faced. And so while I am so happy it is June, I'm also grateful for what I went through in May. And I'm sure I will go through again and again as I continue to uncover and untangle the habitual conditioning that I've lived within, the structures that I've lived from within, moved from the belief systems, outer and inner, that have guided my life. And really, right now, I am, I am just in pursuit of letting go of everything that is holding me back and shutting me down and making me play small and not believing in myself and my own intelligence. And if I, if I could share that, and I am sharing it, if any of this is, is valuable to help you see that in yourself, then that is how we make this world go round. It's how we share our life's journey for the greater good. So for today, it really is about just admitting that May was a really challenging month for many reasons. Some of them are obvious in the news. Um, we're talking, you know, from any everything from inflation and war to stock market and the horrific school shooting in Texas, and then just my own inner turmoil and my own inner uncovering and exposing. Oh, I like that word, the exposing. It is not easy to walk this path of, of awakening, the path of burning through illusion the path of wanting to see life and experience life fully, completely, without any pretense, without anything that is false. And so I have been in some ways all month long holding my breath. Oh my gosh, I've been so tender tenderly walking through life, knowing I was in the fire, staying in the fire willingly as uncomfortable as it's been. And it's not over just because it's been a turn of a month. But there's something significant about moving into a fresh new day, a fresh new month, a fresh new season. And so more and more, my friend, I am willing and wanting to share the emergent clarity, the emergent surrender of what I'm going through in this life experience, hoping that it will touch you in some way. And so for today, it's really all I have is the freshness, the tenderness, 
the aliveness of life sprouting. Life sprouting something new, whether it be the turning of the calendar, the emergent of new insight, the aliveness and freshness of of the spring air in this moment. We are all hitting walls. We are all standing on very shaky ground right now. And I want you to know it's not just you. It is so comforting to me to know that others are going through what I'm going through. It's so comforting to know I'm not in this alone. We are riding some really rough waters together as a species, as a collective intelligence. And so for me, I simply want to share the rocky road, the uncertainty, the tenderness, the shakiness, the struggle the edginess, the vulnerability that I am experiencing as well. So just take that with you and share it with others. Let others know what you're going through. Let us all experience and share this together. Because when we don't feel alone and we know that it is collective, well, then I know in my heart that we're going to ride these rough waters and come out for the better in the end. Be well. Mm -hmm.